Okay, we're back for part, what are we on? I think we're on part four now of the uh, Inspire tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be spraying some of the uh, testers one coat lacquer clear over uh, what we just finished up here. And I'll hold it up, let everybody see it. Um, this is what the candy will look like um, once you uh, let it dry. And you can see it. You know, it, it has a nice finish to it right now, but it gets a lot better once you put the clear on it. It gets a lot deeper. So uh, we're just going to spray the clear on this straight out of the can. Now you can use um, the Tester's One Coat Clear. Uh, you can also use the uh, Tamaya uh, TS-13, which is another clear coat that I use a lot. Um, you can use the uh, Dupacolor uh, Perfect Match in a small can. Um, have to be careful with this. Uh, I have found that a lot of times this will craze the plastic even through everything we've put on on this piece here. So you have to be very careful with this stuff. Uh, but it is an option. I do have a couple cans of it up here. And of course you can also, also use like the gravity uh, two part or three part uh, clears where you have the clear, the thinner, and the reducer. And um, I actually have some of the Inspire clear coming in that you mix the reducer in and uh, also the activator. So we're going to be doing some experiments with that. But uh, just for, you know, today's purposes and just to finish this uh, tutorial off, we're going to be using the uh, one coat lacquer. So uh, we're going to cut the booth on here and we're going to give us a couple of coats and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, I've already got this can shaking up pretty good. So we're just going to go in and uh, mist a little bit of the uh, one coat lacquer on here. I do like this one coat lacquer. It's actually one of my favorite clears. And a lot of my models are cleared directly, you know, straight from the can. And then I'll go back in and wet sand and buff. And I'm not going to put a lot of clear down on this uh, because really, it's, you know, just kind of wasted product right now. But, um, now you want to make sure that you get enough down to uh, really get good coverage and make the uh, color get real deep. But uh, like I say, I'm not going to put a whole lot down on this because um, I won't even use this part. This is just for the tutorial. And that's about all we're going to do as far as putting clear on it. Shut the booth off here. And as you can see, it does have a very nice color to it. Um, it is the candy finish. And I turned the uh, light on in the booth here just to kind of get it to show up a little bit better. But uh, that's about all there is to it. Um, that's how easy the process is. Now, always remember on your candy colors, um, once you like do your silver base, you can go in and you can do another color base uh, somewhere else, like put stripes in it. Uh, a lot of your low riders um, out there that, you know, the guys that paint low rider cars, they do that. They do multiple uh, base coats and then they spray a, a single color candy over top of all of that. That's something you can do. Uh, you can also spray candy over top of decals. Um, like if, actually on the man uh, heavy commercial truck that I'm working on, I have an idea where um, I'm going to be using uh, pretty much this color right here, but it'll be over top of a, um, a graphic. And that's something that you can do. So there's a lot of different things you can do with candy because they are transparent. And uh, anything that you put down on that base coat or change the color of the base coat, um, it's going to show up under the candy. So uh, on, on that particular truck that I'm doing, I'll be using a silver base coat on some of it. And I'll be using a gold base coat on some of it. And uh, spraying the same uh, candy orange over top of both of them. And one will be darker, one will be lighter, but they'll both be a, a true candy color. So, uh, but that's about all there is to it. Um, hopefully that, you know, gives you all the information you need on spraying the uh, Inspire candy line. Um, I do have some of the base coat colors over here that I may do a tutorial on uh, later on, uh, which are, you know, a little bit easier to use, not as in-depth. Uh, basically, you're just spraying the color and putting a clear coat. That's all there is to it. No base coat or anything like that. So uh, that's all we've got on this one. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave me a comment on the video and I'll be more than glad to get back to you on that or help you out. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and um, following along with the series. And as always, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.